Yeah. Oh, thank you. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Elizabeth Diaz. My name is Nishi Barrientos. And I'm David Crespo. Um, right now we would we were we are going to interview uh, a special ed teacher, and her name is Mrs. Peters, Joanne Peters. We are going. We would like to ask you a few questions about the kids and um, how you work with them. And our first question would be, how, um, what kind of activities do you guys perform? Well, my job is to get them ready for work for when they're leaving here. Most of the kids I have in my class are 18 to 22 years old, so they would have graduated regular school already. So right now, the program that I'm in is a vocational program. And what we do is assembly work. We um, get training on the city bus. Uh, we learn some life skills, like right now we're ironing, um, sewing, different things like that. Um, computers, we still do you know, the basic computers. We do recycling in the school. That they might be able to use when they leave here in the real world. How do you feel about disabled children? Disabled children are in my heart. I love the kids. Um, a lot of people look at them differently, um, a little bit standoffish, and they should be just the opposite. Of all the kids I have in my classroom, I don't have any behavior problems. My kids work twice as hard as everybody else, and they don't get as far, but that never stops their efforts. So it, it would make you work. Do you find it hard working with them? Not really. It's more rewarding working with them. Um, it makes them feel so good when they can finally do something like everybody else is. And they look at things differently. Um, they have a, they know how people feel when things, you know, things are said or how people look and things like that. And so they never judge and um, so they, they're great. Do they get used along with other students that are not They're all friends. There's three classrooms here and they're all friends and they're always out trying to help anybody. If I drop something, there are four people trying to pick it up for me. I mean, they just try so hard to please everybody. What advice would you give like, the people that actually think that these kids are different and that judge them because of how they look? They need to give them a chance. Um, they have to sit down and listen to them and, you know, don't look, you know, the looks on everything. I mean, there's a lot more depth to the person. And these kids, these kids are great. They have a story, and they'll be willing to tell you and help you and do anything they could for anybody. Can you say, like, um, you know each of these each of these kids and what are the kids? Yep. Yeah. Well, as it when they start school, there's um, what comes with each student. It's called an IEP. It's an individual education plan that I get, and it follows the kids all through school when they start into special education. And it says what their disability is. It says from the teachers that they've had before, the best way that they learn. So I have a little hint when I, when I come in, when I read all the IEPs and I learn about them and what the, you know, their strengths and their weaknesses are. So that helps me. But just watching them, you'll be able to see you know, who's better at some things, one might be a great speaker, one might be able to put things together. Um, it's just like everybody else, but people are better at things than others. Well, thank you very much for your time. And, um, we really feel um, in touch with these kids because um, in our cases, um, two of us have kids that are in those situations, and really? so we felt touched to actually research about them and see um, what it actually felt like. You'll be a special education teacher too, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.